morning guys, you're watching me again, old car auto guy, welcome back to the channel. So today is Friday, and I think we already have the Tahoe sold. I uh, had somebody come take a look at it last night, right at my house, and uh, they seemed very interested. They know the history of the truck, they know where it came from, so hopefully we can get her sold. Our general line of cars would run anywhere between probably eight and fifteen thousand dollars on a regular basis, maybe twenty max. So for us to sell the Yukon, which was like a fifty, two or three thousand dollar vehicle, that was out of our realm of what we would normally sell. Now, I'm not saying that we don't sell stuff like that, because that's about the third time now that we've sold something expensive and new for people that uh, that know us really well and trust us to uh, find them exactly what they want. So the idea behind getting expensive vehicles like that, A, is to have the cash flow because we don't borrow our money to buy cars, we use our own cash. And the other reason is people see two, uh, three, four, five-year-old cars or four, five, and six-year-old cars on our lot mostly. So they think, well, that's all they sell. So when they're looking for something, if they don't see it on a lot, generally they drive through and they go down and they check everybody else out in town. So, you know, those who know us and know us well know that we're buying our used cars at the same lot or at the same auction as all the other guys in town. So if they're buying you know, 2016 Yukons and 2017 Tahoes and whatnot, well, we can get that too. But what we need from you, the buyer, is trust in us to find you what you want and be a monetary commitment to say, okay, if you bring this in, I will buy it. Now, in most cases, the auction provides very detailed information on the vehicles that we're buying. So we can bring you in, set you down, show you exactly everything about the vehicle, everything that's good, everything that's bad, and deal from there. We can give you a generic ballpark on what the price is going to be, and if you're fine with that, a small monetary commitment, you know, meaning a down payment that commits to buying that vehicle, because if I'm going to bring something in that's going to sell for $52,000, I don't want you coming in and saying, well, yeah, it's not exactly the color I wanted after you told me to bring it in. So the idea behind the monetary commitment is that if you don't buy it, I'm keeping your money uh, because it's going to help me bring the price down on what I bring in so I can sell it better and quicker. Um, I don't want to be stuck sitting with a $52,000 vehicle on my truck on my lot uh, that generally isn't going to sell within the first week that we get it. So, you know, we can do it. Again, we have to have a good trusting relationship between each other so that we can get the idea so that we can get the vehicle in and it always works out at the end of the day we've got several customers out there that we went and found found vehicles for and they're very happy with them and they're coming back and buying more so anyways that's a little bit about what we do as far as being able to go find vehicles and bring them in that's a pretty good idea what she's going to look like with the fenders on her anyway this fender fits good over here. With, yeah, they both do that. With the with the running board, I mean. Yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. I suppose Riley would mind pulling up in that now. <laughs> good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning, and one thing I just realized is I checked this morning's upload that went live at six o'clock. Um, and in the first hour, I had like 27 views. And to a lot of guys out there, 27 views is not a lot of views, but to me, it's a lot of views, especially since my last two videos have barely gotten over 30 in the last week, week and a half. So what I think I'm gonna start doing is one of my videos, I'm gonna start uploading early in the morning on Saturdays so that I can help increase my viewability or my 
whatever the word is I'm looking for that gets my uh, it gets my channel out there in hopes that we can continue to build this channel there's one guarantee I'll make you right now is that from now on I can guarantee you there will be a video that comes out on Saturday mornings bright and early to get your weekend started so it's been a while since I've updated you on my wife's van the 600,000 kilometer Toyota Sienna van I just did an oil change it's regular monthly oil change there's the mileage on it as we stand now this is an American van so at 387,409 miles that works out to 627,602 kilometers so to say that we've got our money's worth out of this van would be an understatement and if you want to see how we got here check this link above and uh, you'll see what keeps this thing going so we're just ending another weekend at the campground and uh, as I'm heading home I see something in the back rearview mirror I'm not sure if you can see it or not but it's red and it's very sporty and I'm thinking it might be a Hyundai Genesis but I can't be sure. I'm thinking I might want to pull over just to let it go by me so I can see what it is. Somebody doesn't like riding in the car. Little Miss Panty Pants over there. That's exactly what it was, Hyundai Genesis. Sounded pretty beefy too, so it's probably got the big motor in it. And away he goes. So knowing that Dad was in this weekend to paint his fenders, I figured I would sneak in. I had to stop in anyways and see what they look like. This is the car without them once again, but it does have the running boards on. We'll go out in our makeshift paint room, see what they look like. Oh wow, that is shiny. Yes sir. That's amazing, I like that. I can't wait till he gets these back on the car. What a difference it'll make. <laughs> Looks like this week will be a project and putting those fenders back on, getting the front bumper on, and from what I can tell, the exterior will be done. So my niece will be happy that she gets to go to graduation in the Dodge. you heard there was me hitting the gas to take it off high idle and it not coming off high idle because I forgot to hook up the return spring on the throttle whoops anyways quick fix so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing out for a quick drive and test the kick down cable because I do believe we've got that fixed and make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to we're out on the highway and we are about to test this kick down cable and see how good it really works this time around finally got the thing adjusted. 
adjusted properly, mind you, and she's back to her old self. So guys, I really appreciate you stopping in and checking out my channel. Let's try and get this channel built up to many, many subscribers to get the name out. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button below and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next upload.